So we have four vectors, A, B, C, and D, which are linearly dependent. And we are trying to determine a non-trivial linear relationship where A times this vector plus B times this vector plus C times this vector plus D times this vector is equal to the zero vector. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take this equation here and we're going to turn it into a matrix equation. And so what we can do is we can turn these column vectors into one four by four matrix, which will look like this. And we want the product of this four by four matrix with this column vector of unknowns to be equal to a zero vector. So we are looking for a solution here. Oops. We just scroll down. OK, there we go. And so the best way to do this is to create um, an appended matrix, an augmented matrix, and then put it into row echelon form. So what I mean by that is we will create an augmented matrix like so. One, one, negative five, negative four, zero, and so forth. That. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take this matrix and we're going to put it into row echelon form. Um, and it won't let me scroll down for some unknown reason. this way. So I'm just trying to create some more room to scroll down. This interface is not great. Okay, let's erase that. Okay, so when we put this into row echelon form, and you can do this on your calculator, we're going to get something that looks like this. One, zero, zero, negative one fifth, zero, zero, one, zero, negative four fifths, zero, 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 one, three fifths, zero, and then a row of zeros. And so the information we have in here is that this last row is all zeros, which tells us that D, the variable that corresponds to this last row, is a free variable. So D can be anything. And then the other three rows give us three equations that tell us the rules about how A, B, and C must be related to D. So what we see here is that A minus 1 fifth D has to be zero. B minus four fifths D has to be zero, and C plus three fifths D has to be zero. And so in this case, what you, the easiest thing you can choose is basically choose that D is equal to five. And if D is five, then you can see that that means A would be equal to one b would be equal to 4, and c would be equal to negative 3 is one possible solution. And then pretty much any multiple of these would also be solutions. So you could also use d is 10, a is 2, b is 8, and c is negative 6, or something similar. But this is going to be your simplest answer. And there you go.